come. Joy has dawned, and today we celebrate God's great gift of love to all. But to Old Testament Israel, the hope of a brighter tomorrow, the promise of a joyful future, seemed an elusive dream. For 400 years, God's chosen people languished in bondage, longing for the day when the promised Messiah would come to deliver them. The prophet Isaiah had assured them that though they were a people walking in darkness, a great light would eventually shine upon them. A child would be born, a son given, and the government would be upon his shoulders, and he would be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Anguish and weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. we hear this account. God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a young maiden named Mary. The angel said to her, greetings, you are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly concerned with his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel gave comfort, saying, 
Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will call him Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. Mary and Joseph went up from the town of Nazareth to Bethlehem, the town of David. And while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. Mary gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, for there had been no room for them at the inn. It was a quiet night just an ordinary night. There were shepherds keeping watch over their sheep on a Judean hillside outside of Bethlehem. But this night became like no other night, when an angel appeared to the shepherds, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for I bring you good, no good news of great joy. Today in the town of David a Savior has been born. He is Christ the Lord. You will find the baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praise God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to all.
The shepherds immediately left and soon found Mary, Joseph, and the newborn baby who was lying in the manger, just as the angels had told them. After offering their humble gifts of adoration and praise, they hurried off to spread the word of all they had witnessed, the angelic proclamation, a newborn child in the manger, the wonder of two young parents embracing their miraculous roles in God's unfolding story. All who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds had said, but Mary treasured up all of these things and pondered them in her heart. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem, during the reign of King Herod, there were magi from the east who came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. King Herod, disturbed by this inquiry, called together the chief priests and teachers of the law, asking them where the Christ was to be born. In Bethlehem of Judea, they replied, quoting from the prophet Micah. Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had arrived. 
he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and make a careful search for this child. Then report to me so that I too may go and worship him. The Magi went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east went before them until it stopped over the place where the child was. There they found Jesus with his mother Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. Opening their treasures, they presented him with gifts of gold, incense, and myrrh. is a story of joy. But the Lord has done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Those who sow in tears will reap with songs of joy. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. This is a story of great joy. It is the fulfillment of God's promise 
to end the night of suffering with the dawn of redeeming light. the joyous news that the Messiah has been born. Joy has dawned upon the world. Break forth into joy. Sing together, for God has redeemed us, and now all the earth will behold the salvation of our God. Joy to the world. The Lord has come. Let earth receive her King.
Wow, let's give it up for our narrators and our wonderful orchestra. Thank you so much. And our choir. And our own Deborah Rousseau. Woo!